Manuel, um, Yaya Torre missing training today. We understand it's a throat problem. Will it be fit for tomorrow? Yes, Yaya uh, didn't work today because just for precaution. He, has, he doesn't have any problem for, for tomorrow. He's in the squad list. And in terms of the rest of the squad, any other fitness issues for you? Well, Alex Kolarovan and Seco in the squad list also. David Silva and Stefan Joetik are out. Looking at the FA's DNA blueprint today, you've obviously seen it. City have spent a lot of money on their academy to try and bring players through. What did you make of what the FA have put forward? Sorry, I didn't understand. The FA DNA blueprints today, yeah. have you had a look through it? What do you think of the FA trying to bring through an English way of playing? Well, it's difficult for me to talk about that in this, uh, in this moment. I think that it's, 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 a, it's an issue that we must talk long about about that at a press conference, but I think it would be important to talk about that in the future. But as a foreign manager coming and now working in this country, what do you think the qualities are that young English players possess compared to perhaps their European counterparts? I repeat, I cannot answer you in, in a few words about what I think of a very important issue. Maybe we have a different idea, but uh, is, I, I need uh, more time, I think, to talk about that. Uh, let's talk about your squad then, Sergio Aguero. Two more goals uh, for him in midweek. Is he the best striker you've worked with? Well, I would answer exactly the same what I, ans I answered the last uh, the last press conference. I think the, that Sergio is a very good player. That he must be if he wants in the five best players of the world. I uh, well, I work also with with Cristiano. That was uh, uh, maybe the best striker of the world in this. In this moment, so it's not important to compare. I think it's important to try to to demand Sergio to be in the level he must be in this in, in football. And for a team to win the title, do you have to have a striker like Sergio Aguero? Well, I think that Sergio is part of the team. It's very important for him also in the way that this team play, and it's very very important also to to try to continue with his high performance because he's a he's a player that makes the difference, but. I repeat once again, I think that it's important also in the way this team plays for Sergio score. And looking at Everton, what challenge do they pose? It's a difficult, uh, it's a difficult game, it's a tough game because normally the teams of Roberto Martinez play, play very well. They have a lot of possession of, of the ball, so we will try to do our best and just be thinking about the games against Everton and not thinking about any other things. This week we've seen the release of the financial results as well. Do, do the positive signs, does that make this a more sustainable club? Well, of course it's positive. It's normal that a club that wants to try to fight with the biggest club is maybe in the first uh, four or five years must spend a lot of money to try to go have a good squad and to bring uh, important players. After that, it's normal to try to have a balance and I think that this club is working also in that way. Does it mean that you will have money to spend in January? No, I don't, no, I don't think that one thing has relation with the other one or any link about one, one thing with the other. We are not thinking about uh, January or about the amount of money that, that we must spend. You remember once again that we, this year we are, have restrictions about the number of players that we can have in our squad and also about the, the amount of money that we can, we can spend. So one thing has not relation with the other one. Thank you. Manuel, the performances you've had in the last couple of weeks, especially this week against Southampton and Sunderland, is, is that as good as City have played in your, your time here? Is that the top level that we've seen from your side? I think it's similar in the way we played last season. Not the complete season, but uh, the second, especially from November till the end of the season, I think that we played in a very high level. At the beginning also, maybe we have some some moment of the season, especially playing away, but that we didn't do it, we didn't do it well. But I think that we are returning to our normal performance, so that's very important for the team. What do you think has made the difference then in the last week to get back to that level? In football, you never know. Just a small thing make a switch on or off. I think that the draw that we had against CSK in Moscow in the Champions League makes a difficult moment for the team and in that moment we start losing. Before that we were we are not playing bad. But after that game we lo we lost again against uh, Newcastle, we lo uh, lost against the Russian team here also, we against West Ham. It was not a good moment, 
maybe after we beat uh, Bayern Munich, the switch changed again and we started playing with trust and playing the way we normally do. And in terms of the game you've got next week against Roma, obviously that's a very important game for your future in Europe, but how key will it be to keep everyone's mind focused on this match? Well, I just said that we are only thinking in the match against Everton. It's a difficult game. We have to try to continue winning in Premier League because uh, we try to try, we must try to to discount points from from the leaders. So we are just thinking on Everton and not on, on Champions League or in Rome. After the game, we have uh, four days to to think about the next game. Obviously, you've managed to close the gap a little bit on Chelsea down to six points. In the next six matches, you've got four home games. How much of an opportunity does that give you to close the gap even further and, and have the momentum with you? No, we are not uh, thinking about the six points that is Chelsea in front. We are thinking about to try to continue with the performance we did last, last week. So to try to add the most amount of points during the first round. Uh, we'll see after at the end of December which is the distance between Chelsea and our, and our team. But the only way is to continue winning. And against Everton then as well, they, they gave you two pr pretty good games last season. Goodison Park, it was close here. They made a very good start. I mean, what, can you, what can you take from those two games to, to, to go into this one? Well, I think they were, they were very two attractive games because both teams play, tried to play as an offensive uh, team. So Everton uh, is a team that, wants, uh, that likes to have possession of the ball, that they have technical players. So. I hope that for the fans we'll see again a very good game and I hope that we can continue winning the same as the last season. They've had a mixed form of late. What have you made of the way that they, they have maybe struggled a little bit in the last couple of weeks? From Everton? Well, I, really it's difficult for me to say the, the, the reason why they're playing that way, but I think that I am sure that for in, against our team here, they will be a very strong team. So it's very important not to think about the weakness that they have maybe in the last week and think about the potential they have as a, as a team. And in terms of your own potential, you've mentioned that City are playing normal. When do you expect your team to play better than normal? I always expect that, uh, expect that our team improves in, in the way we play. I think that as a manager you must always be thinking to improve in all sense, in defending, in attacking, in possession, in a lot of things that it's very important to improve week, uh, week by week. So I, I hope that we will continue scoring the amount of goals that we scored in the last games and try to defend better. Given the players that you have in your squad, would you rather that we were talking about other players and not so much about Aguero at the moment? No, no, I don't think so. I think that, that we, are, we have, as I said, a, a team. It's, it's important to talk about uh, Aguero, but uh, I also it's important to maybe to, to think about why Aguero is playing that way also. And in terms of the, with Dzeko, what what's the situation with him? You say he's not available, but, but how far? No, I said he is. Dzeko mean, is, yes, sorry. Yes, he is squad list. Dzeko and Colorado is what... Just uh, silver then, silver. Dzeko and Silva are out of the, of the squad this, this week. But uh, Edin is uh, 100%, he doesn't have any problem. And Silva, how far? Silva maybe, he was... With a risk, maybe he could be also, but I don't think it's good for him to take a risk in the last the days of his uh, recovery. So we'll see if he can be uh, against uh, against Rome. What's the situation then with Vincent Company? Does that mean he's fit and he can play tomorrow? Vincent is not in the squad list tomorrow. He's working, but uh, maybe we we have the last test with him on Monday on Tuesday to decide. So there's a possibility that Vincent Company and David Silva could travel to Rome then? Yes, it's possible. I don't know how much amount of possibilities, but it's possible. Manuel, I know you have uh, much bigger issues uh, at the moment, but it was uh, announced today that you'll definitely be travelling to Australia in the off-season to take on uh, Real Madrid and Inter Milan in the International Champions Cup. Uh, how excited are you by that? Well, as you say, that's the next season, it's the pre-season of the next year, of the next sport year. But I think it's important for this club to go to Australia first, because we have a, a team also in Australia. I think a, it's, a, it's a country where they like football and to play a game against Real Madrid, I think it's, it's very important for all.
some managers in the past have had issues with travelling that far and have decided not to. Plenty have gone though. Do you have any issues uh, about the travel distance uh, in your pre-season? No, because we are going to make our training camp in Australia also. We are not going just to fly 12 hours to play one game. We are going to stay there a lot of days, so we don't have any problem about that.